Hi guys, Bandit for Red here, and today I'm bringing you actually a uh, PU battle. Now the reason I'm bringing you PU instead of NU or RU, which were my normal tiers when I was playing, was because I asked my girlfriend the other night, I'm like, hey, I want to use a Pokemon to start off an actual like series, a ladder series. She was like, use the Dane. I thought, fine, what, whatever tier the Dane is in, I'll make a team for it, and we'll go through that. Turns out, it's in PU. I remember it being an NU, so I was very confused. And then also, Avalug's NPU, Persian's NPU, Gabite's NPU. So I was uh, a little bit shocked. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so I decided to use, we decided to use Dedane, uh, Chadont, Clefairy, Persian, Avalug, and Gabite. And this is uh, this is one of. An early game. I was in the uh, 1100s here. I think 1115. So I see a Flareon. Now I'm gonna pause it really fast. Flareon is known for two things: Toxic Orb and Guts. So <laughs> knowing this, uh, I was like, they're gonna go for Protect. There's nothing I can really do. I can't knock off. I can't do anything. So my best bet is to just click Return and then click Return again to see if I outspeed. So. I, there was, there was nothing I could do. I was going to lose Parajin or I was going to lose someone else. I could have switched it to Avalug, but the chance of Avalug getting burnt, uh, even though it's a 10% chance, just wasn't enough for me, and I didn't feel like wasting that Mon. So I just said, hey, Persian, stay in. Click Return. They'll get their Guts boost. That means you're probably going to die, but, I mean, at least you did some damage. And Flareon almost dies to it. I was really surprised by that. So Flareon goes down to its own recoil damage, which is perfectly fine by me. And then I get a free switch on into Gabite. Now the reason I'm going into Gabite is, looking at his team, we've got Huntel, we've got Chanot, we've got Dodrio, and we've got Rotom here. So that means Stealth Rocks. I need Stealth Rocks. <laughs> Super bad. So I go straight for Stealth Rocks right off the bat. I'm like, okay, Gabite, Stealth Rocks. I don't care what comes out, what's going on. Huntel comes out. I'm like, this is a Shell Smash set. The fact that he has Substitute says that he doesn't have wider. So I can switch into Chatot. I don't necessarily know if Chatot outspeeds, so this is a little bit scary. I know they can't run Sucker Punch anymore if they do Shell Smash, so I was a little bit worried. And I was like, Chatot, I believe in you. I don't want to deal with this substitute. Boom Burst. Done. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we're moving along. Rotom was a little bit scary, but I didn't really have a switch into it, so I just said, Chatot, stay in. If if worst comes to worst, I can switch into Clefairy on your death. Takes it out, too. Dodrio comes in. I'm like, okay, I'm dead now. Chatot still outspeeds, still boom bursts, still kills it. I'm, at this point, I'm like, okay, there's no way I can lose this, right? Chatot just boom bursts the entire game. I win the speed tie. It was a max speed Chatot right there. And then we have Simi Sage, which I know goes down to a boom burst. So Chatot ends up right there just murdering the entire rest of the team. All I had to do was get up rocks and take down everyone else. And this has actually been my experience in PU. I've got about four matches now. Uh, I've actually played about ten, but I've got about four really good ones that I just haven't got destroyed in. But the ones I have gotten destroyed in, it, it's really funny because it's you set up, you throw out rocks, and then the other team loses. It, it's not really... It's whoever gets the hazard out and whoever predicts the fastest. Like, I have not had a match go over 30 turns. And I expected that, like, looking, I've got Cryogonal, I've got Avalug. These are really bulky Pokemon. These are Pokemon that can take hits for hours. And they're going down super quick. Like, they're just, like, I enter a battle and it's 15 turns. It's 7 turns. This one was 9. <laughs> just, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm really enjoying this. So I have to say... Thank you, Hannah, for telling me to do this. Dedane does put in a lot of work. I actually have a battle coming up. It's another replay. I'm sorry, I just haven't had the chance to film live. But I have a replay coming up where Dedane just absolutely wipes out a team. So, look forward to that. I'm Bandit for it. I hope you enjoyed this little chat out sweep. I just wanted to introduce that I am going to go delving into PU. And not only that, we're going to be delving into a few other little things. Probably later today. Might not be up until tomorrow, but you'll see. I'm going to add a little bit of variety into this. So... I'm Bennett Ferret. I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you all next time.